Hello YouTube, how you doing today? In today's video we're going to be talking about is Multiverse Easy. You probably clicked on this video because you want to get into the game. I mean, what else other reason would you have to click on the video? Nice sound stupid now. Enjoy the video though, like, comment, and subscribe. Your opinion, you know, uh, I mean you can't subscribe your opinion, comment your opinion. Uh, but comment your opinion whether you agree with these points. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching. So is Multiverse Easy? It depends on what you're trying to ask. If you're not going for the competitive route, it, it is easy. Um, I think anybody can really pick up multiverse and really pick up and play and know what the hell they're doing. I don't really think there's anything majorly hard about multiverse to the point where you gotta YouTube it. I honestly do think it is pretty easy to pick up and play. The only thing I think you really would need to research on the only thing I really think you need to research on is probably perks uh, for the character or perks to counter certain characters. School me once counters Harley because of the projectile, right? Like things like that. Also tune counters characters who, you know, smack, you know, spike you on the map, stuff like that. But I don't really think it's really that hard combo wise. I really do think multiverse is really self-explanatory combo wise. I really do. The only thing I really think that you might need a YouTube combo wise as if you're playing a combo heavy character like Harley or Wonder Woman. But besides that, I don't think it's really hard. Also Rain Dog as well. But besides that, I don't think it's hard. That's for 1v1s though. 2v2s is where it gets a little difficult because there are characters that just work better with others. So you want to have the best 2v2 comp. Shout out Inside Out, that used to be my 2v2's teammate, we went a couple tournaments together. We played Harley and Iron Giant and Wonder Woman and Iron Giant. So the goal with Wonder Woman, you know, she can give shield with uh, her down special or side special, where her down special stayed on longer. Iron Giant already generates shield himself, so he can put a shield around himself. and that breaks, we can uh, use Wonder Woman down special to put another shield on him. And when we played, I would always be the aggressor and I would really just be 2v1ing. He would be throwing stuff in the back and trying to, you know, hit somebody with a good knockback and kill them. That's how we played our comp. It really was just me 2v1ing. But I had the mechanical skills and the knowledge and the knowledge check and everything to really do it. You know what I mean? Like, I just knew the game. I'm not trying to ego anything. That's literally why. From a casual standpoint of 2v2s, I think it's really self-explanatory. I don't really think you really need to Google or YouTube anything. Like you'll really know like what works with what. Again, the only thing I really think about you need to YouTube is probably perks. But besides that, I don't really think it's that hard. Now, if you're going to play competitive multiverse, I know, right? That sounds so funny. Competitive and multiverse in like the same sentence. Who would have thought? If you're going to play competitive multiverse, that is completely different. That's where the game gets hard. Yes, multiverse is actually hard at a competitive level, especially when you're playing against a Superman in a Velma or an Iron Giant in a Velma or just any top tier characters, really. But you know what? I think every character in the game is S tier. Nobody's right a fair conversation. But anyways, um, yeah, no. So when you're when you're playing uh, multiverse at the top level, you're playing against the best players, right? So automatically they're going to know every single thing they're going to know punishes they're going to know the maps that counter characters they're going to know the maps that makes them stay alive longer they're going to know the certain perks to run against you so you can't kill them easier they're going to know the certain perks to run against you so that your specials don't work against them they're going to know who to target on your team they're going to know not to target you because you're good and your teammates a little more trash they're going to know certain things like that and when you're fighting somebody like that, then that's when it becomes hard because they literally know everything about your 2v2 comp and you guys share stocks. So if your teammate is dying, it's not like you can really 2v1, you know, when he's dead, because again, he can't die because if he dies, you die. If you guys lose all the stocks, you guys lose the game. And with that being said, so you need to focus on keeping him alive. This is where we go back to the characters that you play in 2v2s because certain characters can help your teammates stay alive. Wonder Woman is a very, very good character. I think Wonder Woman is one of the best 2v2 characters because she can play aggressive very good and play defense really good. She can cancel any projectile in the game 
with her side special. And she can give her teammate armor, and when she gives her teammate armor, she teleports to them. She also can use her lasso to save teammates out of any engagement that they're in. So that makes her a really good 2-2 partner. The fact that she can play offense and defense. You know what they say, a better defense is a better offense. But she has literally both. So that makes her a really top tier character. So in conclusion, is multiverse hard? I'd say no. I'd say it's definitely one of the easiest platform fighters you can pick up and literally know what you're doing. Like you can play a character and know what you're doing. But when you start playing against the best players, that's when it becomes hard. Yes, I do think it's hard at the top tier level, of course. But if you're just playing casual, no, I think it's a really fun game to just hop on and just fight people. I don't think it's, you know, like you're going to be sweating your ass off when you get on the game. I really don't. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be releasing way more multiverse videos throughout this year since the game is coming out in 2024. I'm very excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. I also make Valorant videos, Mortal Kombat videos, Tekken videos. So if you guys want to see that, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys. You guys have a really nice day.